police are still trying to sort out what happened before a St. Louis police officer shot and killed an off-duty St. Louis City Sheriff's deputy late last night. The deputy's family is telling News 4 they cannot get any information from police. 53-year-old Timothy Kern was shot and killed. Police say that Kern pulled out his pistol, pointed it at the officer. Now, Lindsay Branson joining us live from police headquarters. Lindsay, you talked with his family. What do they say? Yeah, there's a lot they still don't know, Larry. The family says it's because of the holiday. Police are telling them they have to wait until Monday. But I talked with police, and they say that's not true, saying this is an ongoing investigation. But it's an answer the family isn't accepting. Why do I have to hear from online Internet of what happened to my father instead of hearing it from uh, an official? Angry and frustrated, the family of Timothy Kern questions what really happened at this intersection around 10.30 last night. It doesn't make no sense, and we'd like more answers. St. Louis City Police say Kern was standing in the middle of the street blocking traffic, yelling at another man. They approached him, and it was then police say Kern pulled out his gun and turned to the officers. That's when one of them shot Kern several times. I come to the front door. Uh, I seen the officer standing over the guy and uh, looked like he had fired his last shot. Does anybody deserve to be shot so many times with the police officer standing over him, shot in the chest? Nobody deserves that. If there was something going on, he had always announced he's a deputy sheriff. But the city police department has a different story. A spokesperson tells News 4 Kern wasn't in uniform and did not identify himself as a deputy. Regardless, his family just wants to know what really happened on Dover Street last night. Just please let us know what's going on. It we, just... We need more answers. I know. Behind three kids, eight grandchildren. And the investigation is ongoing. For now, the police officer who shot Corn is on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Reporting live downtown, Lindsey Bramson, News 4.